It looks like bear. Bears do come out in winter. They uh, up to the streams, right? And get some salmon. They're always near the salmon streams in winter if they do come out. You don't want to run into one. They're going to eat you. They're going to be hungry. The bear's out winter time. He's looking for food. I mean, this area now, this is where the Sasquatch was talking a couple of years ago. Was it 2020? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 2020. They're down in there somewhere. Notice these trees are smaller, eh? Smaller than some of the other ones. See the... Talk to the trees because, uh... The bark on the trees, you see, carries the water up from the roots. And it goes up and it, you know, nourishes all the branches and the leaves. So it's very important, right? For the bark. Keep my eyes out behind me because sometimes those cougars can sneak up on you in the winter time, eh? Cougars are they're sneaky in the snow. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of wish I could around here. Had a ribbon over here somewhere before, a couple years ago. Yeah, trees, you know, they're they'll talk to one another. They'll heal the other tree, you know. They'll they'll help the other tree. Come a long ways. It's about three hours so far. Maybe four. So it's gonna be at least two or three hours to get back. These old logging roads are great. Not too much snow right now. We had snow and then it rained real heavy for a few days and then it snowed, snowed again the last couple of days, so. That creek over there, eh? bushes. Oh, there's a holly tree, eh? Actually, I might take a piece of that. Get the holly, eh? Holly is magical. It's a magical plant. Let me take a bit of that. I'd never get through here in the summertime. It'd be so thick. I couldn't even walk in here. Wintertime? Not too bad. I guess you could say. Why do I do it? I don't know, just because it's there, is that what we always say? Why do you climb a mountain? No, because it's there. That steep area now. This is the way I came in. You see my traps, eh? Going down. That's an old animal trail that I'm gonna follow out. Snowing again. Just trying to snow, eh? Yeah, this is a uh, mortar for my health and getting back in shape. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the Sasquatch. I mean, I've already seen them. I know they exist, you know, and people always tell me, you know, uh, why are you doing all that? Why are you going out there? Well, people think I'm out looking for the Sasquatch, but I'm not looking for them. I'm just in areas where they go. If you happen to come across one, well, there you go. And they're not all bloodthirsty killers. A lot of these people out there, you know, and kind of getting tired of the bloodthirsty killer talk. If they're bloodthirsty killers, I wouldn't be here. Or my son, or my wife. There's a few bad ones, you know, you gotta be careful. If you got bad vibes, bad energy, anything like that, they're gonna feel it. Of course they're gonna scare you. 
if you can have a loving heart, you know, if you can kind of get that in you and, you know, say some prayers, that always helps. And uh, just talk to them and talk to the trees and uh, see what happens if you really want to get into it. But I uh, advise not to get into it unless you know the wood's good. I mean, how many times have I rescued people in the mountains, right? You know, Asian girls, I ran into a couple of Asian girls that were lost. And then I run into strange things too, like, uh, actually not far from here, I ran into two girls that said they were lost, and we were, I was a long ways in, eight kilometers in. And uh, one girl had broken glasses, she went look at me. This was my friend Brian, actually. And uh, these two girls were not from the more time. She wasn't dressed right, and the other one was more of our time, but they kept on walking ahead of us. Well, first I said, just follow this uh, logging road. It'll take you all the way back to the parking lot, and you can get out of the mountains, right? And didn't say anything, and then they'd walk ahead of us and go down in the bush and just look at us as we walked by. And we walked by. Oh, I can hear a train that's going way up here. Wow. And uh, anyways, uh, they'd go down in the bush, like down there to the right, and watch us go by, just stare at us, and then we'd look back, and they're gone. So we go a little bit further, you know, me and Brian heading out another kilometer or two, there they are. Sitting in the bush again, or standing in the bush looking at us. Not saying a word. We're just like, this is weird. And we look back, they're right behind us on the road, so I look back again, maybe, what, five seconds later, they're gone. We never saw them again. We made it out, and then we ran it, we heard two girls, and we thought, oh, it must be them, right? And we get back, uh, we get out almost to the parking lot, and these two girls come out and go, Oh, how you doing? We go, oh, we thought you were the two other girls. And they said, did you see those girls too? We go, yeah. I go, they were weird. They were up on the hill looking down on us. And they said, they're ghosts. And I go, yeah, you got that right. Yeah, that was a strange one. Guess I'm rambling on there. I get excited, eh? That's just one of the stories. I got many stories. Like I say, when you spend a lot of time in the mountains, things happen, eh? Yeah. Gotta get out with my friend Mario there and his dog and start hiking around. Once the snow melts, we'll be out a lot. Get in shape, right? Okay, got my go fire going here. I'll put some sage on there in a minute. See, it's all packages of, uh, this is cedar shavings. This is lint from the dryer, believe it or not. Yeah, lint from the dryer. Always good to take in the bush until that lint burns. So when you, you get the lint from your dryer, it'll burn like that. It's a bit of cedar on top. That throws the heat out too. Just don't breathe it in too much. <laughs> okay. I'll put some sage on that and uh, slowly make my way out. It's been a good day. Yeah, thanks to all my subscribers there. My, for all the friends on YouTube, it's great. There's a little flute that I have, eh? Check this one out. Look at the back. <laughs> it's like a face, eh? How cool is that? Let's hear what it sounds like here. Play a little bit of this flute here before I go. <clears throat> what did you do? Frozen. Well, I'm gonna head out now. Getting hungry now. Been here for about five hours, so it's good hiking and out. Another about half hour, I'll be out of here. Raven, eh? Yeah, there's my pack. My hiking stick. my way home now. The horses, eh? they're all bundled up over there. This is all horse ranches down here mostly. Beautiful horses down here. The ones over here, eh? They got their hay. Yeah, I think it's just starting to rain now down here. Up in the mountains it's got snow, but here where we live, down a bit lower, it's uh, starting to rain. So this will all wash away. Yeah, beautiful place to live, that's for sure.